Hi everyone! Welcome to today's video. I will be doing a flip through of my 2024 bullet journal setup as well as my January setup. For this year I am using a B5 Archer and Olive dotted journal. Let's go ahead and jump right in! So the reason why I'm filming this now is because I did not have my camera when I initially set up my bullet journal. So just flipping over to the first page here. I love the gold foil accents on the inside cover of this journal. It's very elegant and beautiful. So I just have my name here. And then I like to name my journals. So for this year to match with the beautiful deep green, I wanted to name my journal Hunter. On this page here, I just have my 2024 goals as well as some gift ideas. And then in this section down here, just a 2025 calendar and a place to write down any future appointments or events. Moving on, we have the 2024 overview. So this is where I like to have all of the months as well as birthdays, holidays, events, appointments, stuff like that. And then over here, I just have a section for bills, which I've covered up. Moving on, I have a setup for my 2024 in Polaroids. And so this is what it looks like before I go in and paste in pictures. I like to do that at the end of every month just a picture to represent the month. And then moving right along to January, I decided to do a pastel dessert pastry theme. January is also my birthday month, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do a dessert theme. And then so far I just have my January doodles page. As you can see, I only have about half of the month filled out right now, and then I haven't gone in and done my favorites yet or my memories. So I will come back to these at the end of the month and fill them in. And then moving along to my first weekly spread of January. So for every week, I pretty much do the same sort of layout as you will see, but up here I just have a section indicating what month it is, and then a monthly calendar. And then I have three different trackers here. This top one is for habits, weight, and mood. And then on this side, I also have additional trackers. These are for expenses or finances. So just a section for my personal account and then joint account. And then I also have a little box here for my credit card usage. So to reward myself for not using my credit card, I'll go in at the end of the week and just draw or paint a little image in this box. However, if I were to use it, then I would write down what I spent. And then moving on to the daily boxes, I have a Sunday start, a Saturday end, and then a section down here for notes. This bigger section here is more for tasks or if I have to travel somewhere to an appointment. And then this top left box is where I indicate my workout as well as what I ate that day. The box next to it indicates what I watched. This bottom left box is my work schedule. And then this bottom right box is what I listened to that day. I just started doing this layout in November of last year and it's been working very well just to kind of organize my days a little bit more. So I've been really liking this layout. And then here is the second week of January. And then for this week, then as you can see, I do have events or tasks that I already know I will need to do for those days. However, for the days that are already completed, then they will be filled up a little bit more. And then just a sneak preview at next week. As you can see, it looks very empty right now, but again, I will fill it in as the days go by. All right, so that is the flip through of my 2024 bullet journal setup as well as my January setup. I know it was a pretty quick video but I wanted to just go ahead and share this with you. For those of you who are curious, my daily pen that I keep in this pen loop is the Uniball Signo DX in the 
0.28 size. So that's what I use to fill out all of my weekly or daily boxes and write in my tasks and whatnot. So there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I would love to respond to them. And let me know if you have any video suggestions. I would love to film those for you guys and create more content that you guys will enjoy. So yeah, thanks for watching my video today and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!